Laura Ingram. This is the Ingram Angle from Washington tonight. Now, we called out that gutsy gal, Hillary Clinton, last week on the show, and she apparently took time out of her busy schedule to respond to moi on Twitter. I'm going to have a response of my own in moments. But first, the big green fizzle. That's the focus of tonight's angle. All right, it turns out that today's Democrat Party, it's not just radicalized, it's also wildly stupid and impractical. They downplay, even deny, the impact of climate change as communities are literally on fire. We made the largest investment to combat the climate crisis in history and deliver on environmental justice for people everywhere. Okay, her pantsuit is figuratively on fire. She fibs so much. All right. Because when Kamala and the left invoke environmental justice, watch your wallet and be prepared for a more miserable life for you and your family. What they plan to do is to take more of what you earned and give it to others, namely their connected friends and their political donors. It's sort of like a reverse Robin Hood situation. What it doesn't mean is that your life is going to improve or that you're going to have more money in your pocket. We already know that they want to ban cars. They want to ban natural gas hookups in your home. They want to ban leaf blowers, ranching, beef, grass lawns. But ditching oil and gas in rapid transition is just going to re require inflation-stoking spending in multiples of what they've already rammed through. Now, courtesy of influential liberal columnist Ezra Klein, we have the zany blueprint for how they hope to radically change the way you and your family live. The decarbonization strategy, he wrote in the New York Times, at its core is simply this. Right now, 60% of electricity comes from fossil fuels. We need to rebuild our electrical grid around clean sources, and then we need to triple or quadruple the total amount of electricity we generate, an almost unimaginably large buildup of wind and solar power. He's right about that. It's unimaginable, let alone obscenely expensive. And how much of the American landscape, pray tell, will be eaten up by this so-called clean revolution? He writes, to put some numbers to that, a plausible path to decarbonization modeled by researchers at Princeton sees wind and solar using or visually affecting up to 590,000 square kilometers, which is roughly equal to the landmass of Connecticut, my home state, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Massachusetts, Ohio, Rhode Island, and Tennessee, put together. You know, I was thinking about that. That is going to look gorgeous, just beautiful. The environmentalists, apparently, they don't care about how any of their structures will impact birds and other fauna and flora. Sorry, Bambi. Good luck nibbling on those solar panels. They're also banking on a huge amount of corporate welfare to force this scheme on Americans. And the bipartisan infrastructure bill is they're, they're trying to sort of wander around with checks with tax rebates, with tax credits, and say, if you can create enough of this chain here, like we will give you a tremendous amount of, you know, subsidies or we'll be guaranteed purchasers or whatever it might be. So they're basically just trying to spend their way to a very, very, very large uh, decarbonization. The Greeniacs are trying to appeal to Biden's ego, or maybe Jill's at this point. If Biden succeeds, his legacy will be atypically physical electric vehicle charging stations, battery manufacturing plants, vast areas of land covered in wind turbines and solar panels. All those states I rattled off, those are all going to be wind and solar. Now, none of this is going to work as planned. I don't think any of it's going to happen, at least most of it won't. They neither have the competence, nor the money, nor the political support to upend American society this way. You want to know what the brutal truth is? Here it is. The so-called utopia that Klein and others fantasize about will reduce the mobility and standard of living for all but the wealthiest of Americans. Because remember, the rules, they never apply to the wealthy people. They're going to fly overhead in their helicopters while the rest of you are desperately trying to find charging stations. Today's Democrats never think through the consequences of their nutbag policies. Never. As we saw during the COVID situation, governors like Michigan's Gretchen Whitless Whitmer and California's Gavin Newsom bowed down to the teachers' unions they locked those kids out of the schools. And now we're seeing the academic and mental health ruin that this selfishness caused. But at least this angelic woman is happy. Where's the education? 
pieces here. Where's the education pieces here? Climate change. If we actually stop these extreme weather events. She's an extreme weather event. That's terrifying. I hadn't seen that before. All right, for a year, they waved off all the concerns about inflation, these smarty pants. They went full speed ahead with their spend-a-paloozas. And now, now with prices skyrocketing for everything, Biden wants you to think that the high prices you're paying are just kind of imaginary. The American people should have confidence that we're on the right track, that we're seeing real progress. We've worked to make sure our economy recovers, to lower f costs for families. First, has the man not seen the right track, wrong track, track numbers yet? I mean, it's horrible. Second, as for those lower costs for American families, perhaps he missed this. Aside from Hunter, who can't, I guess he can sell those blow paint artwork things for hundreds of thousands of dollars, most Americans are really, really hurting, Joe. And Biden's cabinet, well, it's teeming, as we know, with far left halfwits. And America has spent over $40 billion in Ukraine. But Biden, he wants to spend $11.7 billion more. Have you heard that? And this, this is Secretary of Energy's takeaway from that. It has been a horrible year in terms of the war and in terms of eyes open about how vulnerable we all are when we don't create our own homegrown energy sources. But that is an accelerant as well toward the ultimate goal of getting, um, getting to 100% clean electricity or net zero by 2050. Wait a second. We're vulnerable precisely because her party sabotaged our homegrown energy. All of it was energy independence. And now a proxy war is a welcome accelerant? Is that what she said? To force change on our country? If Biden could have found anyone who knows less about energy, like I don't know who would, that would have been, laughing, listening to Granholm. Oh, wait, I found him. We need to move in the direction of electric vehicles, but we've got to make sure that this happens quickly enough to help us beat climate change. One problem, Petey. Mining minerals for EVs is impossible to meet demand, thanks in part from the Greeniac regulations. Of course, they're all frauds, these people. They're claiming to love clean energy as they refuse to green light more nuclear plants. California's energy crisis we're seeing unfold before our eyes was predictable, especially when they shut a nuclear plant. The Green Warriors and the Biden administrations, they're about to run into the buzzsaw of the American electorate in November. Voters can see what's in store down the road if the enviro extremists have their way. They have to look no further than Europe, where things are getting very, very unpleasant and maybe very stinky, as the EU is now poised to restrict showers to five minutes. Never forget, skyrocketing energy costs for Americans is the policy of Democrats. It's not an accident. Democrats must inflict pain and inconvenience on you in order to get you to agree to change and obey. You will love the green nirvana that awaits. You will love it. Yeah, some elderly Americans living alone are probably going to freeze this winter, but at least Bill Gates and Greta Thunberg will be more hopeful about the planet. And that's the angle. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.